Uh, I wanted to show you guys how to graph the data from the enzyme reaction rate uh, lab that we didn't do because of uh, you know the situation with the virus and everything. So um, if you go to your um, your data um, you know, in the handout. And here we got enzyme concentration, and so the enzyme concentration at zero units basically took forever. Um, so here's zero, 25 units, all the way up to 100, and then you can see the reaction rate is different for each one of those. And so what you want to do is um, just select this and copy it. You can do Command C if you're on a Mac, or Control C if you're on a PC. Uh, you could also select it from up here, but uh, I find the shortcuts are easier. And then uh, what you want to do is go to Google Drive and if you go New, Google Sheet, and then paste it in here, Command V or Control V, um, then let, let me, sh I need to make this a little bit smaller so that, uh, so that the, the graph will show up when we go to make it, but um, so the next thing you want to do is highlight this data again and then go to um, you want to go to insert and then chart and that'll bring up um, a couple different options uh, the line graph maybe looks okay to you but um, in in uh, science we, we we often don't like a line graph we prefer um, an XY scatter plot, um, and then so you change this to a scatter chart, and then come you come down here, and under series you can say um, so if we customize, and we come down here to series, we can say well, we're, what we would like is to put a trend line in there, and a trend line kind of averages between these these dots rather than connecting them like a line graph does and um, that's a much better much better way to um, uh, to show the the data so once you've done that then um, you basically you can look at this and you can say okay well um, you know the important parts of a graph are title axes labels and spacing and you can see we have uh, the title, I don't really like that title because I don't think it describes the graph. It, it just kind of, I mean, it says what it is, but it's kind of boring. I like to make my titles say something about the graph, like, for example, um, And um, I think that's a better, you know, I think it makes it interest, more interesting. It kind of describes what's going on in the graph, uh, kind of summarizes the graph. You don't have to do it that way, but um, tell me what the graph is. Don't just, you know, leave it blank. Um, but then, so that's the title. The axes, um, the axes look good here. They're evenly spaced out. Um, and then we have reaction rate, which tells us what this is. And we have the units. And then down here we have enzyme concentration, and the units for this are in units, so um, that's that's all good. And then the next thing you want to do is take a picture of this and put it in your handout. And the way to do that, easiest way, is on a Mac, Command Shift uh, Four, and then hold down Control, and then select the graph. Um, in PCs, there's a thing. There used to be a thing, I don't know if it's still in there in the new versions, um, called uh, Snipper, um, Snipping Tool, that, uh, that does the same thing. Uh, but then you want to go to your, um, your document, and then uh, you can go ahead and, let's see, paste it in there, Command-V, put your graph in there, and then, of course, you, know, you, have, you have the important part of describing the graph, explain how reaction rate changes, and then why that's going to change. And that's, uh, that's um, you know, obviously 
you're going to do that with the substrate units and reaction rate, but um, you know you should be able to just follow what I did and basically do the same thing.